Now, before all you cunning investors say, well, I'll just use a DAO, I've got some more news for you. The court finds a DAO is a person and owes $643,542 in shutdown order. The CFTC, another branch, or in this instance, a commission of the United States government, touts the wake-up call to anyone who believes they can circumvent the law by adopting a DAO structure. As I've been saying for years, my crypto brothers and sisters, this will be an epic battle like no other. And this is an extension to what we can see the SEC is doing. It is a multiple prong attack from different angles to ensure that the global reserve currency maintains its power. This brief overview from decrypt.co, I'll leave a link below, it says in a court ruling that could have broad implications for the popular decentralized autonomous organization or DAO structure, a federal district judge ruled in favor of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission or the CFTC and its civil enforcement against the Uki DAO last year. In what the CFTC declares, quote, a sweeping victory, the court found that the DAO is a person under the Commodity Exchange Act. Quote, the founders created the Uki DAO with an evasive purpose and with the explicit goal of operating an illegal trading platform without legal accountability, end quote, said CFTC Division of Enforcement Director Ian McGinley in a prepared statement. So I won't read on, but I'll leave a link if you want to read the whole article yourself. What we see here and what's important to understand is that the United States now has precedence. It has precedence to say DAOs are not DAOs. They're not decentralized autonomous organizations. They're people which goes back to what I was saying before and for many years, this is why Bitcoin is so unique. There is no head of the dragon to take on. There is no one to sue. It's a mathematical code. Now, I understand some of you don't like Bitcoin, but if you are here to make money or at a minimum reduce your exposure to these types of findings, you have to go somewhere where there's no head to the dragon. And I know some of you are saying, well, they haven't come after my coin yet. Well, guess what? There's over 25,000 coins. And as at time of recording, we're only looking at around 60 plus coins that the SEC has formally recognized. But four days ago, it was only 11. And a week ago, it was only one. So we've gone from XRP to Binance to ADA to MANA to a whole list to another list that I'm about to get through. So please don't think for a second that they're not coming after your coin. And I'm specifically shouting out to you, good hexagons and pulsicons, because we've been on a long journey together. And many of you have written to me and said, well, they haven't listed my coin yet, so I guess we're safe. No, you're not. You don't think they would come after you? Why would they go after all the other coins and not your coin? Why would they say, right, all coins are a security, all DAOs are a person, all decentralized exchanges will follow the DAO path, Oh, but we're not going to pick on Hex, Pulse, PulseX, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Well, we understand why they're not picking on Bitcoin, because there is no one to pick on. That's not to say that they won't try to ban it in their country, because again, it's a competitor to the US dollar, the SWIFT network, and the Petro dollar. But they absolutely will go after every other coin. Ethereum is this weird gray area. There's some conspiracy theories about why Ethereum is not going to be attacked, that's because some of the big heads may have a lot of money in it. A lot of stuff can be built on top of it. There's an argument that it's more decentralized than others. That's for a whole video in itself. But we know the SEC has gone back and forth on its position when it comes to Ethereum. It has been very clear on its position with Bitcoin. But all the other coins, no matter who you are, and I'm your crypto brother, so don't shoot the messenger. I'm telling you how it is. They're coming after you. They're coming after you because you are a competitor to the US dollar. It's not about your coin being better or worse. It's about the global power wanting to maintain that power. And to maintain power, you might say, well, it's all about bombs and bullets. No, all of that is paid for with money. If it was about raw manpower, why isn't China or India the global reserve power? It's because they are not the global reserve currency. Money is power at the micro or macro level.